sorry, go ahead. Go ahead no, we'll go, we'll go Q&A. We'll go Q&A. You're good. Okay, 9-17, 9-18, Tampa Bay versus the Giants. We got minus 129 for Glass now in the Rays, plus 119 for an opener. I believe it's Walker for the Giants, total of 7.5. 112 to the over, 108 to the under. So I guess you could call it some slight, slight juice to the over. Who the hell did I start with on the last one? I think I started with Corby, base winner. This is the second leg of the parlay. The Rays got a lot going on. No Wanda Franco, which Franco, which we talked about. What do you got here? Glassnell versus, I think Walker's just going to be an opener you know, pitch, or Alexander, I, one of the two guys. So, yeah, it's, I, okay, so I've got Johnny Walker uh, red, not Johnny Walker black opening. Um, mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. You know, I think, I think Mene is going to get the bulk of this, of the, of the inning. So we'll get him. He's been a little bit better, like I guess since they put him in that non-starter role, like like putting him in and and as as the uh, oh. as the as the uh, uh, bulk guy. But like I don't know, like the starts that he's made have been pretty crappy. He's like four point seven seven base winner ERA. Uh, he's fifty six percent worse from a walk standpoint. He does get some strikeouts. You know, the interesting thing to me is when I was doing this prep work uh, for the show was Tampa Bay versus left-handed pitching. The last 30 days has been just pretty bad. I mean, they're like, it's, I think it was 73 weighted runs created versus right-handed pitching. They're like 103. So they're like 10th in the league. That's a big split differential. But but the Giants are, I think, the worst team in baseball versus right-handed pitching. The second worst, uh, only behind Colorado, which gets the bump. Colorado's so bad, they get the bump from, the, from Colorado. And they're still the worst. But uh, you look at last 30 days versus right-handed pitching, which is weird because they were decent versus right-handed pitching at the start of the year. But last 30 days, 70 weighted runs created plus for the Giants. And, uh, you know, I just, this glass now, I, I don't know if they can score off them. You look at strikeout percentage, 34% last 150. You look at pitching plus, uh, Corby's favorite number, 96 percentile, stuff plus 96 percentile. I just, I mean, God, the guy's really good, and 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 really kind of the eye test. I've been, I think I've bet Glass now every time he's come out for the last three starts, and uh, everybody says how good he is. So, gosh, I, I, I mean, if the Giants don't score, and I have it in a parlay on a money line, I'm not going to lose. So, can the Rays get one run off Manaya and and Johnny Walker Black? I probably, yeah. So, I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay second leg of the parlay. I don't even want to jinx your – I don't even want to say what I think of Sean Manea. Just know whatever I would say would absolutely jinx him into pitching well because I do not have great thoughts on Sean Manea. Uh, I watched him pitch a lot. For some reason, I've seen way too many Sean Manea games. But, uh, yeah, if you get Sean Manea, uh, you're in good shape there. Corby, what are your thoughts here? Your boy Glasnow on the mound against uh, – Giants bullpen opener and apparently Sean Manea. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I think it will be Sean Manea. Um, the issue is he actually has been okay as a 3.5 or 3.5 Sierra. So uh, I think that his underlying metrics are actually okay. But if you watch him play baseball, like uh, I agree, it's it. I give Glass now the slight pitching advantage there. Um, yeah, I would say Glass. Glass now is pr- <laughs> pretty okay at pitching. Uh, I think he'll be fine. The issue is he's had 13 days off, and and most people would be like, that's Really bad red flag, but uh, it was 13 days off due to a like, back strain. Like, he wasn't hurt. He was supposed to start and just decided he didn't want to. 13 days, I, I see that as just prep for the postseason because uh, this is also a guy that just came back early this year. He came back too early from injury. Um, so then if he has a, the ability to take two weeks off, I'm not really too worried about it. Also, he, the day that he came back, he played the Dodgers and he had eight strikeouts in four innings. So uh, he's not too worried about time off. I think I think he'll be fine. Uh, and then finally, it's a really tough spot for the Giants who just won a, a game in extra innings versus the Rangers uh, at home. Okay, I see like a hard wake up here. And I, I think this price is so cheap due to the fact that uh, it looks like on paper the Rays also have a really tough spot. They just, tra- they just got beat. Uh, they travel from... Tampa all the way to San Francisco to play a game, but I don't think it's as hard as you think. Like they lost nine to two, they got smacked around. It's a really quick game. weren't too mentally worried about that game. Uh, that was at noon yesterday. They fly and they play the eight thirty game today. So I, I don't think it's as hard of a game as you as you would expect on paper. So uh, I think it's a tougher spot for the Giants, honestly. And the pitching matchup, 
Uh, I'm going to have to slightly give it to class now. So I took the Rays full game money line minus 129 here. Yeah, look, uh, pitching matchup wise, it's easy. It's it's the Rays and it's Glass now, but the Giants are just weird. I don't know how this lineup wins games. Same with the Rays. I don't think the Rays have a very good lineup. When you get outside of Franco, Lowe, or Rosarina, and Paredes, I mean, it's just a bunch of outs. I mean, it's just a bunch of not professional hitters. I don't even understand it. The Giants' entire damn lineup is full of non professional hitters. But they all find ways to win games. So I don't have – these are two teams that I just have no – there's some dark black magic going on with these two teams. I have no idea what to do with them. I'm completely staying away. But for purposes of this show, we're rocking, locking in the Rays money line at minus 129 for Corby. And we're taking the Rays in the first five innings as the second leg of the base winner parlay along with the Braves full game. And that's at plus 157. So a nice price here today for the base winner parlay backing two good lefties. And Freed, or no, one good lefty, one good right, Freed, and uh, Glasnow. I don't know why I get Shane McClanahan in my mind, who also not going to pitch again for the rest of the year.